Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Physics Through Computation. So today I will be talking about uh, th uh, three different type of lattice generation. So I have uploaded already uh, two videos on how to generate uh, several type of lattice and how to and the theory behind that and so uh, so that videos are already available on my YouTube channel uh, Physics Through Computation. So uh, and also the links are provided in the description box so you can have a look on that before uh, coming to this video. Um, uh, so in this video I will be talking about three uh, main type of lattice which is the uh, body centered cubic lattice generation, face centered cubic lattice generation which is FCC and in 2D uh, there is another one which is triangular lattice generation. So this three uh, type of lattice generation is being requested by many of the uh, uh, many of the group members in our uh, telegram group physics through computation so you can uh, always join to our telegram group for to post your uh, queries regarding physics computation and everything so you can post there and i will answer according to my knowledge and so in that group there are uh, many uh, members who have requested me to make this video on the lattice generation of uh, mainly these three type of lattices so this FCC and BCC uh, are basically uh, the 3D lattices and the triangular lattice is basically the 2D lattice. So now let's first start with the triangular lattice. So I have already written the code but uh, I will describe each and every line to you such that you can understand and write the code by your own and you can anytime you can pause the video and uh, write the code by your own and then or you can uh, have a look on the code full code first and then write by your own and match or match your result. So triangular lattice is uh, more or less look like this and where uh, the uh, the basis vectors are basically uh, there are two basis vectors which is one is uh, d comma 0 and another is which is a1 and a2 is basically d by 2 comma square root of 3 by 2 square root 3 d by 2. So now, uh, so basically we have to implement this uh, as I taught in my earlier uh, lecture on the lattice generation. So first of all, I basically uh, write a program which is try and I make uh, two integer variables. So how many, how many lattice points will be there, 30 in each side nx and ny. And I defined a, uh, I defined a, a xy array to basically uh, Similarly, I, I define a two array x y to save the coordinate, but it is not needed. So let me first delete this. Okay, so we only need n x and n y, and then I define d to be this d to be equal to one, and I define some other variables uh, which is x x a x a y are basically the a one and a two. So I define so since d is equal to one, then a x is basically one point zero d zero, and a y is basically I define as this. So now what uh, to implement this, uh, so this little bit tricky, so first basically the two do loops uh, which goes up to the N uh, one uh, which goes nx and up to ny which is i and j index and then uh, see the uh, first of all like just like the square lattice you just uh, assign xx to i minus 1 ax, yy to j minus 1 ay but then uh, what is but a, a here ax and ay are different in uh, in compared to the square lattice because here ax is this and ay is this since your uh, d is 1 so this is basically the, if if if, it d, if your d is other than 1 then this will be d and this will be square root of 3 by 2 into d so now this is basically the position just like the square lattice but but what you have to do here is basically when j is even then you basically shift your x coordinate by d by 2 which is because this because of this and when you shift then basically uh, when j is even you shift and then you write the position and when you shift you can see that uh, you basically see if you shift it then you get basically this these points so this middle points because this is j equal to 1 row this is j equal to 2 row so in j is equal to 2 it is basically this row is basically j is equal to 2 so it is even so it basically shift by half so that's why it basically shifted from shifted in the middle and it makes the uh, triangular lattice and then again for the third row it will not do anything and the fourth row again it will shift and that's how it, it, the triangular lattice is made and i uh, open a file which is triangular dot dat and i write the data x uh, write the position of x and y in the file so let me first run the code and then uh, i will uh, show you the plot okay so g port run triangular dot f90 dot slash a dot so if you type ls then you can see a uh, this green thing which is the executable 
so you type dot slash a dot out and then if you type ls you see uh, or you can type ls minus l tr to show that when it is created so triangular light just created at 2:28 am so now you basically plot the triangular dot that so plot triangular dot that with point point type 7 point size 2 no title now if you do that you can see how your triangular lattice is generated you can you can also open the grid and you can see this is this is how it is generated the triangular lattice so this is all we can uh, this is all for the triangular lattice and uh, now next go to the body centered cubic lattice so now you, your task will be is to generate the honeycomb lattice and if you do uh, uh, if you have any difficulty please post in my telegram group physics to computation so now let's uh, let's uh, start with the uh, bcc lattice and in case of bcc so there is only one more atom other than the uh, in each unit cell other than the simple cubic lattice so in body centered cubic lattice crystal structure uh, it's a babbage lattice and has a one atom basis in the basis so the body center atom in fractional coordinate is at uh, 0.5 comma 0.5 comma 0.5 so uh, there are many alkali metals such as na li uh, potassium and uh, rubidium cesium magnetic metals such as chromium uh, and iron and then refractory metals such as uh, nb w they all basically show this bcc lattice structure so the conventional unit cell is basically the cube based uh, so uh, we know that the from conventional uh, unit cell for a cube is basically uh, 0, 0, 001 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, uh, so this will be 0, 1, 0, 0. okay and so now uh, so if this uh, for so if you don't know how to generate a simple cubic lattice so i have uploaded already a video on how to generate a simple cubic lattice in my youtube channel so the link is uh, given in the description box so you can have a look on that so this is basically uh, body centered cubic lattice is basically twice big compared to the primitive unit cell and has two atoms in its coordinates which is uh, in fractional coordinates it's zero 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 and half 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 so now what I will do, so the total number of atoms in, set, in case of simple cubic you know that it's nx, ny, nz but here since it's twice big and uh, you have uh, effectively uh, one atom and then basically effectively two atom and then that's basically takes care about these two factor here in the total number of atoms. So you first define nx, ny, nz number of atoms in each direction and then you also you can also define a density row which, which will be used to define your volume and the box size and you define some vector x, a, y, a, z and you define some allocatable array, 3 uh, array which is x, y, z to save the positions of the atoms. So now you define, you know that total number of atom will be 2 into nx, ny, nz and we allocate uh, n atom to be in x, y, z, so you can see here and then you open a file to save the data, open two files uh, and now you define, so once you have the number, total number of atoms and the density of the box, density of the atoms so then you can calculate the volume of the box because uh, you know that uh, rho is basically n by v so i basically reverse the relation which is v is equal to rho by uh, n by rho and then you can from there if you if you basically calculate volume to the power one third then you will get lx ly lz and from there once you get lx ly lz then lx by nx will be the uh, x ax and correspondingly ay correspondingly lz this is the smallest distance between x distance between the two atoms and y smallest y distance and smallest z, z distance so now you basically start with the uh, particle uh, counter particle you take a counter and you initialize the counter particle to be zero and then you start the three loops which goes for goes which where the indices i j and k goes up goes up to nx ny nz respectively okay let me save this and close it okay so then uh, then basically your uh, particle uh, your particle uh, you basically increase your particle counter by one and then you place your first particle position at uh, this uh, ax into this simple cubic lattice type of position and then the second part effective uh, effective position uh, so here in your here in your in your case will be it will effective number of atoms will be two so uh, so this is the first atom position fractional coordinate position and the second atom position will be 
this uh, the the uh, the ax into i uh, the i minus 1 into the uh, this half 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 so it's basically i am writing these things here so as you can see here so in uh, as as you can see for i equal to ij k equal to 1 this will give 0 0 0 this will give 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 which is exactly this and now so when you basically when your particle counter uh, particle counter goes uh, beyond any term you basically stop it and uh, and now basically you write the thing like the particle position in such a way that you want to uh, visualize in, in jmol so i also have uploaded a video on how to visualize in several uh, softwares like uh, jmol obito and vmd so i'll i have already shared the uh, link in my description box so you can have a look on that to visualize your atoms and how to write a file corresponding to that to visualize in that particular software. So this is how basically we can write the so first we have to write the particle number of particle and then you have to give a gap this is gap is mandatory and then you basically write down all the particle position. So this n is basically denotes the nitrogen. So you can also put oxygen O and hydrogen as H and something like that because it doesn't matter because they are just here it's just the point particle and this will define your color coloring method and then you close the files and then the bcc lattice generation code ends here and let me run the code for you so g turn bcc dot f90 dot slash a dot out so now if you do ls minus lrt so this bash commands ls minus lrt this uh, these commands i have already uploaded a video on this how so 50 importance bash commands in uh, uh, if you are going to be a linux user so i have also i have i'll share the link share the link in the description box so you can have a look on that so you can see bcc.xyz is generated so now if you type jmol since it is already installed in my machine and also the installation procedure also have described in my in the video where i described how to visualize in several software so in that video you can have a look on that to how to install jmol so in, in my machine jmol is already installed so i just write jmol and then bcc.xyz file so then uh, it will show like this and then you make the window bigger and then you go to display and then bond and then none and then you basically zoom go to uh, go click on the right click and then zoom and then 50 percent and then this is your uh, uh, nice bcc lattice structure okay so now so now next basically this is how you generate the bcc lattice so now let's go to the fcc lattice case okay so in fcc lattice uh, so basically there are effective atom effective number of atoms is basically four because you have uh, uh, you have basically atoms in the surface as well so so the conventional is in a cube you know already that is basically 0 0 1 0 1 0 and 1 0 0 and it uh, fcc lattice is basically four times bigger than the primitive unit cell and it has four four atoms in its coordinates so the so the coordinates are basically this 0 0 0 half half 0 0 half half and half 0 half so this uh, so these are the basically the coordinates of the fractional fractional coordinates of the four effective atoms and uh, in fcc lattice there are several metals noble metals like uh, C, uh, the copper and then ag and then gold then common metals like aluminium uh, pb then nickel and also inert gases like uh, neon argon krypton xenon they basically follow the fcc lattice structure and now so in the uh, so since uh, as, as i describe it as the fractional coordinate like this uh, so this these are the four coordinates so the total number of atoms will be four times the number of atoms in a cubic lattice so it will be four into nx ny into nz so nx ny nz are basically the number of atoms in each direction so now so uh, so this is the fcc lattice generation code so you first define your nx ny nz and uh, and depending on your density your box size will be different so i define a density like this and from the from the density and the total number of atoms so as you can see here so total number of atom will be poured into this nx ny nz and you allocate similarly like the earlier case and you open two files now you once we have the total number of atoms and the density fixed then your uh, box size is also fixed so you can tune the density to increase your box size keeping the number of atoms same so unless until you touched nx ny nz your number of atoms will be same 
so uh, so if you increase density then your uh, depending on your uh, depending on your density your box size will be changed so now so so now you calculate the volume basically volume is basic uh, density is basically n by v so from there you can calculate the volume and from once you get the volume you will get lx ly lz and once you get lx ly lz and you can also calculate the smallest distance x distance y distance and z distance between each the each of the atoms by dividing lx by the total number of atoms in each side and now once you get ax ay z and nx ny nz then similarly like this we basically we basically have we, ha we should now instead of two uh, like bcc we ha here we have to write four uh, four times the four uh, like we have to write the position four times because first one when when, when all are become one then this will be 0 0 0 second one will be 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0 third one will be 0 0.5 0 and 0 0.5 and then fourth one will be 0 0 0.5 0 0.5 which is exactly this four so now once you loop over these numbers loop over the all nx ny nz then and for each case for each position you have to increase the particle counter by one here as you can see because we have effectively four four atoms and so now you loop over i j k and i write down basically the all the basis vector as you can see here just i just do the same thing as written here so then once you get that and then you write the write in the same way like the bcc case and you here you instead of n you can write h as well so you save it and then once you run it so let me run it so it is now fcc dot f90 and then dot slash a dot out if you do ls minus lrt then you can see fcc dot xyz is created so now if you write j mol fcc dot xyz then your lattice will be so as you can see now the color has changed because uh, you have uh, written instead of uh, instead of n you have written h so this is basically only just to show the color or the radius depending on that it will in the coloring method and the other thing will depend on that in the jmol so it's just because of jmol nothing else so you go to bond and then none oh it's already none and then you go to right click and then zoom and then do 50 percent such that you once you make it full screen you can visualize so this is how the fcc lattice is being generated so this is the basically the three main uh, three mainly uh, discussed topics or discussed uh, lattices that is being used in research mostly so which is basically face centered cubic lattice body centered cubic lattice and the uh, triangular lattice so I have already uploaded two videos on the simple cubic lattices and square lattices and also I have a tutorial on how to generate a general sort of lattice structure in uh, in terms of code. So sorry for being uploading a late video and uh, thank you for watching this video and wish you all a belated happy Ramjan Eid and thank you and you can always join to my telegram channel uh, physics through computation where you can post your queries on physics or computation and also uh, if you like my like this video please share among your friends and uh, please subs if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel to up for daily updates and thank you good night